Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 28th of June. Children join protests for separate province in eastern India. Large voter turnout recorded at second phase of polls in Nepal. And Hindu pilgrimage flagged off in northern India amid tight security. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's two-day visit to the United States is touted to further strengthen bilateral ties between the two countries. Apart from vowing to further strengthen India-US defense and security partnership, a common goal to destroy terrorist organizations also dominated the visit. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday returned to New Delhi after concluding his three-nation tour of Portugal, the US and the Netherlands. The highlight of the trip was, however, Prime Minister Modi's meet with US President Donald Trump for the first time in Washington on June 26. Since the first engagement in one-to-one -one conversation, later delegation-level talks and finally working dinner, which was the first of its kind under the new administration, terrorism, trade, energy and defence and security dominated the talks. In the clear and direct reference to Pakistan-sponsored cross-border terrorism, the two leaders in a joint statement called on Pakistan to ensure that its territory is not used to launch terrorist attacks on other countries. However, issues of H-1B visas and climate change did not figure in the talks, which has been the growing concern for Indians working in the U.S. The U.S. State Department described the trip to Washington as a successful one. Meanwhile, supporters demanding separate province for ethnic Indian origin Nepalis set fire to the office of the Gorkha Land Territorial Administration on Wednesday. Children also took to streets and participated in the protest in India's eastern hill town of Darjeeling. Supporters of Gorkha Janmukti Morcha, a regional party in India's eastern Darjeeling, set ablaze in office of the Gorkha Land Territorial Administration or GTA on Wednesday. On day 14 of the indefinite shutdown, even children in Darjeeling have become a part of this movement of demanding a separate province carved out of eastern West Bengal. The police and security forces were seen patrolling the streets and keeping a tight vigil on all entry and exit routes. Earlier on Tuesday, the party burnt copies of the tripartite GTA Accord at several places in Darjeeling. The burning of the Accord symbolizes total rejection of the agreement into the struggle for statehood. Staying on news from India. India's opposition presidential candidate Meera Kumar filed her nomination on Wednesday. Congress Party President Sonia Gandhi, former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and other senior opposition leaders were present at the event. Kumar is a five-time member of parliament and has served as the Speaker of the Lower House of Parliament or Lok Sabha and was also a former diplomat. She faces the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party-led National Democratic Alliance presidential candidate Ram Nath Kovind. Both Kumar and Kovind belong to the Dalit community. Kumar had earlier said that caste identification should not play a role in election to the high office. The presidential elections are set to take place on July 17 and counting will take place on July 24. Today, हमारी लड़ाई जो हम हमेशा रेखांकित करते रहे हैं कि विचारधारा की लड़ाई है वो शुरू हो जाती है मूविंग ऑन टू न्यूज़ फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान
The Afghan Ministry of Agriculture, Irrigation and Livestock will distribute saffron bulbs to farmers this year. The step comes in the wake of the government's plan to increase saffron production in the country. The Afghan Ministry of Agriculture, Irrigation and Livestock will distribute more than 500 tons of saffron bulbs to farmers in 30 provinces this year. According to the ministry, this step will be the launch of a five-year plan to increase saffron production in the country. Officials said they will also start issuing saffron quality certificates. In the we have that in 2026, for 20 companies, a certificate of ISO or a certificate of the Afghanistan to the outside markets and to the outside markets. This certificate is the same as the certificate of the at present, the Herat province produces 90% of the country's saffron. However, business owners say the price of saffron has taken a sharp dip in the last year. This saffron, if it is a good price for the foreign countries, especially for some Arab countries, this saffron, if it is sold, is able to be in the saffron market and in all the price of saffron is good. While contracts with Arab countries and China are in place to export the product, Members of National Saffron Union said these agreements are not being implemented. Afghanistan produces around four tons a year and the cultivation has long been seen as an alternative crop to opium poppies for farmers. Meanwhile, long hours of power outages in Pakistan-administered Kashmir have left the locals sweating in the scorching heat. Rising temperatures have led locals to take shelter under waterfalls for respite. Besides being a powerhouse of abundant natural resources, Pakistan-administered Kashmir suffers due to lack of basic amenities. Frequent power outage is one of the most common problems being faced by people of the occupied territory, which worsens during the summer season. Recently, people were seen spending time under the waterfall of Hatiyambala district of the region to get some respite from the scorching heat. हम जफराबाद से यहाँ आए जी जफराबाद में शदीद गर्मी की वजह से जहाँ लोड शेडिंग का आज का दुरानिया भी ज़्यादा हो गया है हर आधे घंटे बाद आधा घंटा लोड शेडिंग होती है कभी पांच मिनट बाद कभी दस मिनट बाद सारे लोग जो हैं अक्सर जो हैं जफराबाद से यहाँ नहाने की हातर मतलब मौसम गर्म होने की वजह से वो यहाँ पर खुशगवार मौसम में आए हैं यहाँ नहाने के लिए यहाँ अपने आप को थोड़ा ठंडा करने के लिए Locals blame the inept attitude of the federal government of Islamabad and their deliberate attempt to keep the region isolated and underdeveloped. Part of the erstwhile princely province of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir, Pakistan-administered Kashmir has been under Islamabad's illegal control for more than six decades. In news from Nepal. The second phase of Nepal's local level elections was held on Wednesday. The election commission said that large numbers of people turned out to elect their local representatives in province 1, 5 and 7. Despite gloomy weather battered with light showers, voters on Wednesday turned out to exercise their rights in the second phase of Nepal's local level polls. The election commission said voting in different polling stations were being conducted in a peaceful manner. The third phase is scheduled to be held on September 18th in province 2. However, political mistrust threatens third phase of polls as members of Rashtriya Janta Party Nepal spearheading the demand continued their agitation on Wednesday in Birgan city. The Madhya's based parties have expressed their reluctance to participate until demands of constitution amendment are met. Moving on, the annual Hindu Amarnath pilgrimage was flagged off from India's northern Jammu city on Wednesday amid tight security. Elaborate security arrangements have been done on the route due to security threats from militants. The annual Hindu pilgrimage of Amarnath in India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province began on Wednesday amid tight security. The first batch of nearly 2,000 pilgrims left the base camp in Jammu city chanting the name of Hindu god Lord Shiva. 
The pilgrimage leads devotees through monsoon rain-swollen streams and past a glacier-fed lake to a cave shrine, one of the holiest in Hinduism. कोई इस प्रकार की बात नहीं होगी जिसमें कि यात्रा में बाधा आए इसकी गारंटी जो है सरकार देती है हमने बहुत से हजारों की तादाद में सुरक्षा कर्मी इसके लिए लगाए हुए हैं जिसमें हमारी सेना है सुरक्षा बल हैं हमारी पुलिस जम्मू कश्मीर की पुलिस है सारे डिपार्टमेंट्स इसमें लगे हुए हैं और इस पर अच्छे प्रबंध हैं बहुत The devotees seemed undeterred by the militant threat and expressed their confidence in the army and the government for their safety. The pilgrimage will conclude on August 7th. Around 10,000 women on Tuesday prayed and welcomed River Narmada waters at a dam site in India's western Gujarat province. The river water which has been brought to the dam site as a part of an irrigation project is also expected to solve the water crisis of the area. Around 10,000 women on Tuesday performed prayers holding traditional lamps at the Ajudem site in India's western Rajkot city. It was held to welcome arrival of water from River Narmada into the Ajudem which has permanently resolved the water crisis of the city. It will also provide uninterrupted water supply to the city as and when required. The women also performed traditional garba dance to express their joy. राजकोट की बहनों का बरसों पुराना जल संकट आज नर्मदा मैया की आजी डैम में पधरामणी होने से जल संकट टल गया है और बहने स्वयं भू यहाँ आकर गरबा कर रही है आतशबाजी हो रही है और बहुत सारी बहने लगभग दस हजार से भी ज्यादा बहने स्वयं भू महा आरती करने के लिए यहाँ आ पहुंची है Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is scheduled to officially dedicate to the public the pipeline link which has been carrying Namada waters to Aji Dam for a week now on Thursday. An entrepreneur and his staff of 50 rural women in southern India have been recycling banana farm waste to produce eco-friendly products. These products are further helping reduce plastic usage and are in huge demand. Banana byproducts like leaves and stems are used for a variety of food and non-food applications including a potential source of bioethanol. An agricultural entrepreneur from India's southern Tamil Nadu province has also taken a different route. Murugesan and his staff of 50 rural women make products like window screens, baskets and other storage containers from banana farm waste. போன்ற அந்த வாழமட்டையிலிருந்தே கூடைகள் பல வண்ண கூடைகள் செஞ்சு வெளிநாடுகளுக்கு சாம்பில் அனுப்பி அதில் மூலயமா ஆர்டர் எடுத்து பண்ணிக்கிட்டு இருக்கோம் இது போக பிளாஸ்டிக் மாற்று பொருளாக இருக்கிறதுனால எல்லா தரப்பு மக்களும் இதை விரும்புகிறாங்க அ ஸ்கூல் ட்ராப் அவுட் த ஃபிஃப்டி ஒன் இயர் ஓல்ட் கேம் அப் வித் தி ஐடியா ஆஃப் யூசிங் பனானா வேஸ்ட் ஒன் ஹீ சா இட் பீங் டம்ட் அண்ட் பர்ன்ட் வால் க்ரோயிங் அப் இன் அ வில்லேஜ் The farmer turned entrepreneur collaborated with engineers of the Indian Institute of Technology to develop a machine powered by a bicycle wheel. A handful of raw fiber is picked and spun on the machine and coils of rope roll out. Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening before we conclude the top stories once again. Children join protest for separate province in eastern India. Large water turnout recorded at second phase of polls in Nepal. And Hindu pilgrimage flagged off in northern India amid tight security. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com you can also visit us on facebook.com/sasianewsline and follow us on twitter at sasianewsline that's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time tomorrow good night <laughs>